Hey, Robert Mitchell here. So I know I've showed you this thing before, but I'm going to show it to you again because it's so fun. So this is just a tennis ball with a hole drilled through it and some paracord. Go to the craft shop and get some of this elastic band. And then you get in here and work this thing. You'll never find anything harder to hit. It's extremely difficult to hit. And what you want to do is you don't want to stand back here because what's the fun in that? Maybe you start off back here, but eventually you want to get to where you're in here because you want to have the possibility of the ball hitting you in the face. It moves a little bit left to right, but mainly it moves up and down and back and forth. So what you want to do is get close enough to get it moving and then practice and then hit and then practice your head movement as well. Bang, bang, and then try not to get hit by the ball. The uppercut. Oh, there you go. Now you're going to want to go like this. I find myself wanting to do that sometimes. That's a bad habit. So you want to really get in here and then you want to make sure that you stay intimate. Oh, I got nailed right in the forehead. It's tremendous practice. It's really different. Most double end balls are up and down. They're way easier to hit. These uh, horizontal ones are way more difficult. And for two bucks, well, that's an exaggeration. I'd say for the price of a tennis ball, a scrap of this, and you might spend five bucks on the elastic. I've even done them with uh, bungee cords, the thin bungee cords, if you buy those cheaply. So anyway, give that a shot. I'll talk to you later. Take care.